The Boxing Channel here with Robert Garcia, the trainer of Marcos Madonna, who will be taking on Floyd Money Mayweather on May 3rd at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas as part of a Showtime pay-per-view event. Talk to us about this event. You, it's not the first time you've been there. You and Brandon Rios had Manny Pacquiao a while back, and this is going to be a huge, monumental event. Talk to us about that. Look, it, it's it's going to be a great fight. Uh, I know the fans are, are waiting for this for this fight. Uh, even though the odds are 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 not not even close, I know that the fans are are waiting because they know what type of fighter Chino is and the type of fight that he brings into the into the ring. And uh, you know, I just can't wait. We've had a great training camp. We we were the whole team is motivated. Maidana is ready for this fight, physically, mentally. So we can't wait. We can't wait for for the day to step into the ring. And like I said before, you've been there as a fighter, as a trainer. This is by far your biggest assignment. How do you prepare yourself as a trainer now? Look, I, I, I think I've, the, the fights that I've had, you know, with Margarito and uh, Brandon Rios, you know, M Mikey Donner, you know, I, I think I, I, I'm, uh, I'm prepared for this. You know, even though this, you know, fighting Mayweather is the biggest challenge in my career, fighting the best in the world. It's a big challenge, but I'm 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 prepared. You know, my whole team is is hungry to to succeed, hungry for wins. We are prepared for for the best. You know, we we want to be the best, and we have to beat the best to be the best. So uh, we definitely have uh, everything planned out, and uh, and if things go well, you know, we're we're ready for for whatever the world brings to us. You know, Marcos has always been the opponent. He was brought in against Amir Khan, uh, Victor Ortiz, Adrian Broner. We all know what happened in, that, in those fights. He's always considered the other, the underdog. Please explain the role of the underdog. Look, I think for some fighters and for some teams, which is my team included, I think being the, the underdog is something that, that has already, we, we've already got a name for that. You know. Uh, I think I think I've I've had tremendous win, wins with with a lot of my fighters that uh, where we are the underdogs and uh, if we go back to my first world champion who was Stevie Luevano he was the underdog going into England and and and, and knocking out Nicky Cook then Brian Villora knocks out Archie Solis the way he did uh, uh, he was also the underdog you know Maidana was the underdog against against Bronner Bron Brandon was the underdog against Peterson you know they, I I think uh, it's something that my team has already got used to. My fighters are already used to. My whole team is, is is prepared for that. We love upsetting the world. We love we love to prove people wrong, and that's what we're doing, and that's what we've been doing lately, and uh, and we plan on doing again uh, May third. What happens if Marcos Madonna El Chino lands flush on Money Mayweather? Is it lights out? It would have to be a succession of punches. What are your thoughts on that? Look, Chino hits tremendously hard. I I truly believe uh, Mayweather's never been hit by anybody harder than, than Chino will hit him. You know, he's fought guys like Cotto, De La Hoya, Canelo Alvarez who are very big and, and strong, but I still don't believe these guys are are are, are strong or, or hit harder than Chino Maidana. The moment that, that Chino lands a good punch on, on, on Mayweather, he's gonna feel it. You know, uh, he's gonna feel it and, and, and he's a tremendous warrior, he's a fighter, he's, a, he's been in this many times, he's been stunned a couple of times, but he, you know, he knows how to survive, he knows how to hold, he knows how to move around if, if, he, if he's in that situation. But you know, our plan is to attack, you know, if, if we land the shot, we're gonna keep going, you know, we're, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not preparing to get lucky with one punch, I'm preparing my fighter to win a fight clearly round by round and that's by throwing a lot of punches and and hurting hurting his you know hurting our opponent with body shots with 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 head you know head shots also but uh but i'm not i'm not hoping that we just get lucky with one punch if he lands then you know then we win the fight yes that'd be great you know it's happened before personal experience from my my career you know I'm, I'm, I'm beating Ben Taki so easy and so comfortable and he lands a good punch in the last round and knocks me out. I remember that punch. Just the way, the way boxing is, you know, but that was lucky. That was luck. He got lucky. I'm not, I'm not hoping for that with, with Chino. If it happens, then great. But I'm, I'm preparing Chino to win the fight as the rounds go by. You were quoted in a recent article. Um, you spoke of Kelly Pavlik, one of the fighters that you train, that Marcos Madonna hits just as hard as a middleweight. And Marcos is a welterweight. I mean, that's some tremendous power. Please explain. Look, uh, Marcos Maidana hits, hits just as hard or even harder than, than Kelly Pavlik did when he was here. You know, Kelly Pavlik was, was a superstar uh, a couple years before he came to me. So when he came to me, 
he had probably already lost a little bit of that power. I don't know, maybe because he was already looking towards the end of his career. But the moment that he was here, you know, feeling punches from uh, from uh, middleweight, super middleweight, and and and. In Kelly Pavlik, I, I, I feel Maidana's punches as hard or even harder. Uh, walk us through the first time you met Marcos Maidana. Was he simply a diamond in the rough, as you say? When I first met him, you know, he, his manager told me he, that he was thinking of retiring, that he didn't really want to fight anymore, and that he asked him for, a new, for another opportunity and that he had a perfect trainer for him. Marcos Maidana had no idea who I was. So when I picked him up in the airport, you know, I tried to make a conversation with with Maidana, I drove down the coast to see, so he could see a nice drive down the beach. It was miserable, man. He he wouldn't answer no questions. He would just want to be laying down in the sofa without even keeping his eyes open to see the 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 beach and the view. You know, I thought it was gonna be a miserable miserable person to work with. But uh, two days later, once he came to the gym and met everybody in the gym and everybody walked on him the way the way they did, he felt at home. And and right now. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm more than happy to have him. I'm more than happy that Sebastián Contursi brought him over to my, to my gym. You know, we have, we, we had the best training camps uh, ever. He said that he's felt better than ever, and uh, and he, he's looked after after wanting to retire, to have the four fights that he's had with me, had tremendous wins, tremendous upsets, and uh, and make the money he's making. I'm sure he's happy to, to have made that decision to come to me. And I've had the pleasure of uh, interviewing Marcos Madonna, like you said before, a little shy, a little camera shy at times, but eventually he opens up. Um, you've mentioned in the past that aggression was the key to the throwing uh, Broner. Is that going to be one of the key elements to upsetting King Mayweather? Well, look, those type of fighters, those fighters that are so smart, so strong in the fight, the way they fight defensively and, uh, and fast, there's there's no other style that could beat him. You know, we could go back to history and uh, all the fights that you know where the greats have lost are against those type of fighters. We're not we're not going to play a mental game with Mayweather because he's he's a professional. He's done it many years, so he's definitely not going to fall for 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 mental games. But but physically, we are going to beat him physically. We are going to put him in the ropes. We are going to throw punches from all angles. We are going to you know go to the body a lot. That's one thing a lot of opponents have never done. We are going to work that. Robert, thank you. Always a pleasure. Thank you very much.